Hey you guys and welcome back to the channel. It is me, Alana, and we're going to be watching another episode of Boondocks. The last episode we had Riley becoming an artiste and he was great at painting houses alongside his teacher who I thought was a Bob Ross lookalike. I hope I'm saying his name right. Maybe his name ain't Bob Ross, but I think that's his name. But anyways, him, Huey over here watching nothing but black television 24-7, not getting that one week of sleep. But in the end, um, the last mural that Riley did capture on a house was his granddad house. And it was, I'm going to say, his parents more than likely. I hope later on in the series we get to know where or what had happened to his parents. Of course, we already know that they're past because they're no longer with us. But I do want to know what happened. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah. I'm not going to run my gums any longer. Let's see what this next episode with these kids is going to have us see. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Granddad, that was something I was supposed to tell you. Uh, yeah, I think that, uh, Aunt Cookie called and I think it was important. Aunt Cookie? Something about this dude named Mo. Mo? You mean Mo Jackson? This is how kids are, huh? Something about him dying. Or something. Mo's dead? Yeah. Well, I'll just call your Aunt Cookie. You should probably call her back. Well, how long ago did she call? I don't know. A few days ago? A <gasps> few days ago? Well, you know Mo. He took them pills that, you know, help y'all. By Agro. You have to seek immediate medical attention. Four to six. He didn't. Oh. So he was walking around with a bone. <laughs> he laughing. I can let it go now, cause he's dead, and I'm not. Oh, oh. Mo's dead, dead. He is laughing. I thought he was gonna be so sensitive. The funeral's the day after tomorrow, Robert, and you have to come. Mo left you something in his will. Mm, what did he do? You wanna come over to my house tomorrow after school and watch TV? No. <laughs> you wanna come over and play video games? No. Why she want him to come over? But I'm gonna get to see my best friend Kyra. Oh, Kyra's your best friend? Oh, she's gonna, she's gonna be so sensitive. I don't think I have a best friend. Mm. Uh, sucks for you. <laughs> well, but never come back. <laughs> have a nice life. <laughs> oh, she would want Huey to be her best friend. How would you like to hear a little story about World War II? Dorothy. Ah, I'm a venomous spinning door fit of bush that ain't nothing but chewed up mm. grass. That's a big black ball that comes out of a cow. What did it say? What did it say? What nigga you know got enough heart to fly in the middle of a Nazi tree? Or been through who do you know I do some shit like that? Mo guns. Mo guns. Shit. I woke up this morning wanting to shoot me a white man. This is like Jamie Foxx. Do they know they fuck with? This is Mo Guns. All pro. All state. Maybe not. You know what I'm saying? Apollo legend. Ah. <laughs> Apollo legend. Showtime. At the Apollo. Da 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 da. <laughs> two bucks, nigga. Come on. Where you at with it? What? Two where you at with it? Two dollars. Give your ass two bucks. Two bucks. You owe me five dollars. You know five. We ain't got a lot of time. This take during bed. He's so I'll be fat. <laughs> Y'all in the middle of a fight. There's one thing I can't say. You are terrible. Will you please shut the fuck up? I'm not you. I'm glad I'm me. Look at him. Look at him. Ooh. You think you're going to get some bitches off of that? You think you're going to get some airplane pussy? Oh, he is a jackass. This is not a music at all, you fucking boy. You acting like a little bitch right now. He's getting shot. You gonna tell your grandkids about this, but... He closed his eyes. Oh, he ain't got no more bullets. Stop it, you shoot me. God damn it, stop. He's running away. He's running away, bitch. No guns with a seat, nigga. He shot Dorothy. You did a great, man. You, you, you did a good job. You're doing, doing good, man. Now you know you still owe me no 
two bucks, right? Can you believe that? No. What was the question? You asked if we wanted to hear a really long story, and we said no. <laughs> Granddad, you don't seem very sad about losing your friend. He won't really his friend. You know, they aren't always as loyal as you want them to be. Cairo's always been pretty loyal. Mm. Well, things change. Ooh, is Huey gonna learn a lesson? Aunt Cookie. Ooh, there's my dumbass. <laughs> Yo, Cairo. What's up, man? I've been hitting you up. Yeah, you know, been busy. Who that person you with? My name is Dewey. Oh, ba ba ba. Ooh, mama say mama say mama say mama say. Thank you. Nigga, what? <laughs> Riley! <laughs> Isn't this the brother who used to be your homeboy? Used. So, brother, where your poems at? Poem? How you gonna call yourself a revolutionary and you ain't got no poem? What? First of all, Mr. Freeman, I'd like to say I'm sorry about the loss of your friend. Oh, the hell with his punk ass. <laughs> Robert, what's up, man? Now, listen, I miss you, man. And I've got something to, uh, that I want you to have that I'm leaving for you. We'll be punking him. You do me a favor. I want you to deliver my eulogy. What? Now, <laughs> now Robert, yes, yes, this nigga lost his life. <laughs> he lost his life. Robert, you need to go on and let it go. Come on, man. Dying wish. How you gonna turn the nigga down? How he know he's gonna turn him down? Just a few nice words. <laughs> well, I feel like he ain't there for real. Scandal. Mo loves the club. He got a yacht. Michael Jackson. Muhammad Ali. This is stupid. It may play. Ew! Oh, I ain't good enough for you. Now you done moved out the neighborhood. <laughs> he ain't looking like, who is you? Oh, but look at you, Robert. Oh, you look good. Oh, I'm thinking of the soft. Bro, this oh, is so disturbing. Drop it like a hot. Hold on. <laughs> How this is in real life. Have y'all seen somebody that you used to talk to and be like? If you're really enjoying this reaction and want to see the full uncut version, please join me over on Patreon. There you'll have access to all the shows you see here on YouTube and the Patreon exclusives. And don't forget before you leave to comment, like, and subscribe. <laughs> Hilton. Riley gonna knock y'all out. No. Of the war? Shoot. I was the best colored fighter pilot of the war. Why are you talking so loud? I did that. I flew that secret mission. Big up, Robert. That was Mo, right? I'm like this. Mm -mm. Oh, Mo. Why are you always running around? This is my medal. It's got my name on it. How do you even get this? Wow. Dang. Hey, hey, Robert, hey. I heard you're going to be delivering the eulogy. Who is this? Uh, yeah, I remember how Mo would talk about how he couldn't stand your black ass. Woo! I remember it like it was last week. It probably was last week. You was all kind of bitches and motherfuckers. Ooh. Oh, man, you was like Chappelle or something. He called me a motherfucker last week? He said that last week? <laughs> I think it was Tuesday. And he got the time. Woo! You a bigger man than me. I don't think I could talk nice about somebody say that type of stuff about me or my mama. He talk about his mama too? He said he left you something nice. You might as well go on and get it over with. I wouldn't want it. I wouldn't want nothing from him. Just read this. Mo wrote it. He thought you might have some trouble. Why is she so close to Mo? I'm not gay, but Mo was a very sexy man. <laughs> We used to call him Mo Bitches. I once saw Mo in his underwear. <laughs> I wouldn't read none of that. Okay, this is bullshit. Mo Jackson was an asshole. Yep. I thought 
Mo wanted to make things right. But it was just one more chance for him to make a fool out of me. Yeah! And that nigga owe me five dollars! He owe you five dollars too? Doom comes like a vacuum. Cause death sucks and smells like a raccoon or a baboon. The drums playing though. Oh hell. I was on my way to see the gal I was courting at the time. Oh, he stole his gal. Oh, but I loved her. Okay. How you gonna not remember her name, but you say you love her? <gasps> Is that the girl that was on the boat? Smell her teeth? And with the, the moles everywhere? That girl wasn't your girlfriend. You asked her for her phone number once and never called. I was going to call. Boy, boo. You want to see what Mo took from you? It's Maybelline. I knew. York. <laughs> you will get a bag if you want it so bad. Revolution. Boo. I'm Riley. Hey, Erica Badui. That was real gay, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's here. Why don't you go fall your punk ass granddad back to Whitesville, fake nigga? Oh. Oh, Riley coming at you, Dewey! I don't remember her looking like that. Y'all had pretty bad taste back then. Hmm. What have I done? I threw away all that time. Ain't nobody missed you. Nobody came for you. Oh, he threw a chair. Mo thought I was good at saying deep things, but I'm not. Huey, say something deep. Whoa, Huey, on the spot. Physician within you heals your sick self. Therefore, trust the physician and drink his remedy in silence and tranquility. Ooh, poem. Khalil Gibran. Revolution. <laughs> well, I got something here to give you that's very near and dear to me, player pimp. Player pimp. These nuts, nigga! From beyond the grave, you are never. <laughs> he won the last lap. Damn. Homeboys always fight and they become cool again. <laughs> he tried to give him a fruit. <laughs> Being the bigger man is overrated. Mm, you got knocked up. Never mind. <laughs> you came back. Aww. Did you miss me? Maybe. <laughs> New best friend. Oh, he had a picture of him and Mo up in his room. And with the nuts. That was good. That was a good episode. All right, you guys, so that was a really great episode. I think this gives you um, two perspectives when it comes to friendships, all right? Some people are just not gonna forgive you. They're not gonna forgive you and it's okay, but it's not really your fault, you know what I'm saying? Especially when they're not understanding. Those are the friends that you kinda don't kinda want around you anyways. But if you wanna work on it, if you feel like the relationship is salvageable, of course you can try, but obviously he tried, didn't work, ended up getting head butted but at least for granddads it's like they had a love-hate relationship i feel as though also this is kind of putting in perspective of a lot of times when it comes to relationships um for guys i would say it's sometimes over a woman and it's because their homeboy crosses the line I, it probably doesn't happen a lot of times so i feel like some dudes just don't care but those that they do care about that line kind of get crossed and it's like bad blood from uh, from that point on. But in the end, Robert still cared enough for his friend. He kept them nuts and he stuck it by his picture that he still had in his um, man cave. So I don't know. What did you guys think? I went into the eulogy. But again, deep down, Robert did care. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this with me. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.